G'day to you. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend and you're all rested and ready to tackle on the week as um, we have come upon the second week of May right now. Um, so excited to be uh, joining you guys for the lunch and learn. Um, essentially a 30 minute segment where we actually give you tips and tricks to help you market, scale and grow your business so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. My name is Prosper Tarovinga, founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. So preferably if this is the first time you are joining us on the Lunch and Learn, welcome. It is one of those days where um, you know some people are just going over their weekend and transitioning into a new week so we get you all started and all pumped with the tips and tricks that will help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable I would understand that your goal as a digital producer or digital entrepreneur is to actually have more clients and to have a business that is profitable and enjoyable and assume that is your goal for your business right now okay but you might be sitting there and thinking how am I going to achieve these goals well all you have to do is create trust with the people that are gonna buy from you and people that are gonna do business with you as we all know guys every single person that does business with you either needs to know like and trust you so that they're comfortable to give you their credit card so that they could start working with you okay so we'll be taking you on a small journey where we also introduce the online prosperity blueprint that is designed to help you build that trust and a community of people that will be raving for your products okay so you know sometimes we tend to forget that the people we are dealing with and the people we want to reach out to are people that have feelings are people that are also subjected to other offers and they're people that are you know not stupid as we think they might be you know so you cannot establish trust using quick get rich quick schemes or gimmicks and that's the reason why i'm not a big fan of mlm and if you've been a fan of mine or following me through for a while you will notice that you know i live and breathe that value of mine okay jordan nazario says how do you approach clients right obviously you want to go straight into approaching clients which is what we're talking about today you need to build trust you need to make sure that people are comfortable with sending you money or giving you money over your website I'll be talking about all of that as we go along all right so some people these days just think that um, you just need to build a website so that people can come you don't have to be like that okay you need to have clear contact information you need to have a clear phone number an email address a physical address all of those points are bonus real-time um, you know online dis deciding factors that somebody will decide if they want to trust your business or not okay so some people are just bringing people to a website that clearly does not say what the company does or how they can help the prospect automatically you're losing trust there okay oh maybe you took somebody off the um the internet using funny or tricky gimmicks and as soon as they land on your on your page or on your landing page they don't find what you promised them they automatically lose trust there okay so you gotta be professional with people that you are taking from whatever channel bringing them to your website because professionalism normally used to mean um you know wearing a suit or a firm handshake you know um and good manners these days professionalism means a well-functioning website means a well-presented online portfolio means all those things that people are meeting you for the first time are finding okay automatically those things then build trust and as you know people do business with those that they know like and trust okay so today's customer and their trust really hinges on how you're presenting yourself online okay it's not gonna be about a lot of gimmicks or tricks 
or any of those funny things that um, people are peddling and selling out there. How you are presenting yourself online is exactly how you are going to be getting, um, you know, the, the 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 trust that people want to work with you, and how they can be able to give you money and work with you. Um, all of a sudden, Wilson Lee says, "What do you think of Ty Lopez?" Nothing. Anyway, our community basically is riddled with people that are coming in from different parts of the world okay so if they haven't heard about you if they haven't spoken to you or seen anything about you their trust level is zero okay you want to build that as soon as you approach them as soon as they land onto your website now jordan says as soon as a potential client lands on the website they should be able to know exactly what the business does otherwise they'll be uninterested yes that is it definitely right there spot on jonathan uh, jordan okay so like i said there has to be clear contact information a clear phone number a clear email address and a physical address all of those are bonus points for your online online chat the reason is the client wants to be sure that if they give you money and if something happens they will be able to get in touch with somebody okay because if they don't see that they're gonna start worrying that what if I pay my money and nothing happens who am I gonna talk to who am I gonna contact so automatically you really want to make sure they already have their trust on as soon as they land on that website okay so also a really clear modern design that actually works well either on desktop or on mobile you will notice that a lot of websites are only just designed for them uh, for the desktop no one is designing their website for the mobile a lot of people are missing out on that um, aspect there so you want to make sure that you know your website is actually mobile compatible and it's working with at least a few common known browsers or you know operating systems the reason is you might just think that um, you know because you can see the website on your page it might not be showing on other people's pages okay or on other people's phones because you don't know what phone they're using they're probably using an iphone or a samsung so you want to make sure that it it is all round responsive so that people would not have to fiddle around and lose trust as soon as they enter your website then now lucas says how would a perfect website attract customers obviously you a perfect website would have the right kind of contact information a phone number email address and um you know uh, things that are there to ask people to um you know um leave their email address there okay so if you've got links that um you know specifying that you've been in awards links that also relate to other industries or links that show memberships that you have that you are not just a one click wonder you are also recognized by other businesses or other industries that also acknowledge that you are not just there to steal money from somebody okay these days guys if you've got a web um, uh, if you've got a laptop and a bedroom you can start a business okay so you really want to make sure that your business is different from that guy who's just sitting in and, and um, you know on 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 his bed and trying to trick customers because i believe you being here you want a business that's profitable and enjoyable okay so you want to make sure that your website is really looking clean there's no grammatical sparing errors you can use tools like grammarly guys to actually really really check um to actually really really check if um you know there's um any grammatical errors there you want to make sure there's no broken links anything that might just trigger a sense of distrust on the customer okay you want to make sure that you've got informative videos that will play you know when when you click on them not autoplay because the thing is maybe somebody is looking at your website and they're at work and then your video just starts playing and they don't know where it's playing from they are just going to shut your website and go away okay now you've lost that person they're frustrated so you really got to be careful about you know that autoplay and how you um instigate that because they say you should um you know make it you know play as soon as somebody opens your website yeah that's cool but what if that person is at work what if that person is in church 
and then all of be heard and then all of a sudden your your you know your sounds you know just start annoying people okay so that that's what i mean no sounds no music all of that is distracting to people and they really really don't appreciate it okay um also try and make sure that your website comes up with the https wherever possible google has been policing that a lot you know why because um you know if your um website doesn't have a trust certificate on other browsers it actually tells people not to go to that website have you ever noticed when you're trying to go on a website and then it says you're now leaving secure environment please go back to a secure place so what that means is people might be being turned away from your website just because it doesn't have the proper SSL certificate so you want to make sure that you have one of those to make sure um, that people are not being turned away by Google okay also there's small things like making sure that your page is loading really quick because can you imagine if somebody's waiting for a bus or a train and then they're looking at your website and it's not functioning or opening up in the time that they want to open it they're gonna leave they're gonna jump on the bus and all of, all of a sudden they've already forgotten what they were doing okay so you want to make sure it's mobile um you know compatible and it's actually really really um you know um, you know quickly responsive and it loads really fast okay you also want to make sure that your about us area is detailed all right make sure people realize who you are who they're dealing with and how they can get in touch with you without them trying never make a client work for information because when they do they're going to start finding things that you don't want them to find okay so you want to make sure you you make a detailed about us area so that when clients are coming in they already know that you've got nothing to hide and you're helping them as soon as they land onto your website okay um it used to be cool to have pop-up windows but since 2017 it's not it's a no-no and now you know why because google does not like it and people don't really like being bombarded with pop-ups okay so if you can avoid it try not to have pop-ups on your website and maybe just have a bar on top you know there's companies like Zota box or I forgot it oh I broke my pen <laughs> <laughs> so there's companies like Zota Box or um what's the other one? Yeah, but but you know what I mean? The ones you know, Hola Box or or something like that. I, I've forgotten, you know, because because I'm thinking about other things. All right. You also want to make sure that on your website you are upfront about your prices. Okay. Um, not exactly on the front page, but at least within the website, people can see what you're charging. All right. Um, at the end of the day, people don't want to go snooping around. Don't make your client work at all or your prospect because that's it's not their job. Make sure they have all the information in front of them as quickly as possible. Lucas says, "I love the tips. Thank you. I'll enjoy everything to the maximum." Well, thank you for tuning in if you're leaving but we still have 15 more minutes because it's a 30 minute segment okay so if you also got any other questions regarding trust guys this this is this is the video for it you know why because people are doing business with those that they know like and trust and if your business is not putting out those signals if your business is not helping people to actually find what they want and become the go-to site you won't be able to succeed in this whole um, internet space okay the reason is you can see from where we're living guys people are being bombarded with fear people are being bombarded with you know all this news that they influence they're being influenced to think about so you really want to make sure that when they come to your profile to your um, page you are that safe haven for them to actually just be like whoa this is this is different i don't see this anywhere else then they then start trusting you there's a lot of fear mongering news that is out there you're being told about this person murdered this person that person stole from this person there's never any good news outside there so if you really want to create trust create a haven where people come in and then it's like they're hiding from all the pressures they have in the world okay people will then get to know like and trust you all right so you don't want to have all those one click wonder gimmicks that are just designed to trick people and 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 you know help have them just 
going on your website and regretting it after that they will never come back okay you know before customers actually make any sort of purchase from you guys I want to lie they need to be able to trust you okay they need to trust your message they need to make sure that that message is accurate and they've seen it at least three or four times from four different places okay so if your Facebook is not saying the same thing as your Instagram and your Instagram is not saying the same thing as your LinkedIn and your LinkedIn is not saying the same thing as your YouTube, you already have lost somebody who's trying to figure out how to get a hold of you. Okay. You want to make sure that you have a blanket congruency throughout all your profiles throughout your website you've got just the one message you've got just the one market that you go for and whatever media you're using it can vary but the message is consistent all right because we might think that everybody out there is listening to our crap or is watching our stuff right about now i don't want to lie there's probably four or five people watching this live all right but by the time we finish this there's probably a hundred to a thousand people that would watch this okay so not everyone is doing what we think they're doing at the time that we think they're doing it all right so no one is just going to be standing around just to make sure that you get your game right no 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 it don't work like that you need trust all right and they you need to make sure that you're accurate you're congruent all the way through if you ever really want to make a dollar out of this game and make sure that your business is profitable and enjoyable okay so make sure that what you're selling actually matches up to what you say your values and if anything goes wrong with the transaction you are present okay people need to know they can trust that you are always there it does not have to be maybe the fact that you are there you know physically but if they can see some sort of social presence that is consistent people will get to know like and trust you and people really do business with those that they know like and trust all right so i did mention earlier on if you didn't catch it um you know the things that you need to do on your website you know make sure your content details are there so that when people are searching guys they want to make sure that they can be able to call you just in case their credit card goes to a different place you're talking with people on another level of emotion their money and things that they've worked hard for you can't expect somebody to just hand you over their credit card if they don't trust you and if you're not going to create an environment that they can trust you and feel like they can actually work with you and have business or a transaction with you then you lost it that's why i'm saying that there's people that are coming on the internet yes as one click wonders but i'm hoping that i'm speaking to somebody who really wants to create a business that's functional a business that's profitable and a business that's going to last more than them their generation and for generations to come but if you're just creating a business just for the instant gratification maybe that's cool if you're creating a business that's not going to last until christmas that's fine but if you want a business that's going to go in the next year, two, three, four years, you got to create trust. All right. OK, so the, the problem is with trust these days, you can't just quickly create it with gimmicks. Everyone else out there is selling you software, selling you all these crap things that are designed to take away trust from your business. We understand everything is instant now. It has to be automated. But if you're not putting in the work, if you're not reaching out to your clients and making a cyber handshake with them, like what well, we've just done that with a high five and stuff like that, no one is going to know that you exist. And people can tell if you're sending things through an automated, um, um, you know, system. All right, and I think I'm happy what uh, Instagram just did by uh, killing off all the robots because it was annoying. There's people that are really putting in the work and, and you know connecting with their clients and really you know providing value, and then there's just that somebody who's just automating everything and not really connecting with people. It's okay, it's fine. I do it, we do it, but you really want to have a small element that will also just leave people you know to to have something of you that they can take away so that they can bring back money when they come back again all right so that's how you create trust guys that's how you really really create trust all right so you know 
some some companies have lost customer trust just by not being there okay and and it's difficult to 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 repair that reputation or that trust once you've lost it you know that's why they then come in with a different name and it's difficult for you as an individual because you can't afford to keep you know buying a new name buying a new domain buying a new everything else every single day so you got to make sure that whatever brand you're going with, whatever name you're going to go with, you're going to have to have people that actually trust and have faith in that brand. Okay? Trust cannot just be forced down people's throats, guys. You know what I mean? Everybody's so smart these days. And people can't be tricked anymore. You can't do that. Okay? You know, you, you got to earn the trust naturally. And by, you know, improving the security on your website, customers really need to feel safe these days. If they don't feel safe for leaving their email or whatever it is on their website, it's, it's going to be difficult. All right. People are buying from those that they know, like and trust. All right. So it's simple. If you really want to create trust, be socially active and visible. All right, because, you know, being active on social media is going to help you in a number of ways. I don't know if you've noticed how I'm playing my game. All right. I'm constantly there helping people and actually helping people by helping them. All right. And and, 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 and connecting with people and getting to know exactly who my client is. I don't worry that 500 people are following me. I just need that one person that I am going to change their life and their life is going to change and they will stand and be like, you know what, Prosper, thank you. I don't care about people that are not going to want to work. I don't care about people that are not going to want to do the right things. Or I don't care because you will notice you don't fit in anymore because I can tell if, if you're a scammer or if you're somebody who's not trustworthy. Okay, and those that really want to function and work, they will gravitate with me. And those are the people that I want to help. I don't care if, if you're just a one-click wonder and you just want to stop by and see and, and smell what's happening and go on and trick other people. Please leave if that's you. Because that's not the people I want to hang around. Okay, you want to build visibility for your brand and you start attracting the right kind of people with the right kind of pain so you can solve real problems. Because if you're just going to go out there and be a one-click wonder, please don't even bother trying to know me because you're going to be frustrated. I'm talking about the real stuff that really needs to happen within a business for you to actually make a single dollar on the line. All right? You can go and make maybe a couple of hundred dollars today, but are you going to do that tomorrow? Are you going to do that next week? Are you going to do that next month? So I want to work with people that really have a long-term goal, long-term strategic thinking. You know why? Because that's where the money is at. Short money, mm, that's cool. You can have $100. But we're going in for the long haul. Do you know what I mean? You can use the same energy to get a $100 deal, or you can still use the same energy to close a $100,000 deal. It's trust that goes in between that you need to make sure that you've created and it's a long term goal. If you're lazy, this thing is not going to work for you guys. Okay. So the more frequently you're going to expose your side of the brand, you notice on the weekend, I showed a little bit about my little girl. You know why? Because if somebody's going to give me 50,000 to coach them or 20,000 to coach them, they know I'm not going to run away because I've got a family to look after. But if you're just a one click wonder, you just a one I even if you don't have a family, things around you, get people around you to actually validate that you've got more to lose than them losing their money by trusting in you. It's small things like that. Okay? So you want to frequently expose, you know, the side of your brand um, that brings a lot um, you know, a lot of trust your family or people. I'm not saying go around and start, you know, taking photos with your family if, you know, if you don't have to, but I'm just saying show a side of your life that people can associate with trust, okay? All right, so one of the strengths of actually building a visibility, um, you know, via social media is that, you know, th there's a lot of flexibility with that, okay? You can spend your time maybe on just one, one platform and then syndicate the content everywhere else so that the people that have already started knowing you they will start working with you okay and another thing guys if you really 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 want to um 
earn people's trust you need to under promise and then over deliver some of you guys are just just because somebody has swiped left with you you already want to netflix and chill all right you gotta overwhelm not overwhelm but you know what's the word for it you know you gotta really um you know un over deliver if you can all right customers don't trust brands you know nearly as much as they used to guys all right and one reason for this shift is because customers feel they're constantly being lied to all right so any time a customer feels though they've been deceived or they're not going to get whatever they're supposed to be get or they're being manipulated into 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 you know signing a deal or something in any way you know customers will likely part ways with the brand as soon as possible and there's somebody who's going to be waiting for them at the other end of the table now the thing is you can't afford to consistently reach out to these people every single time and keep losing them it costs money to get clients so you really want to make sure that you understand i'm gonna need a new pen this one broke you're gonna make sure that you understand the customer value and then you need to understand what you can provide to them so that you have actually gone over and beyond knowing that this customer is going to be there for the long haul and you will get whatever money back but if you're going to be working with a scarcity mindset this whole thing is not going to work for you okay so accordingly guys i, I I'm, I'm probably supposed to be winding this up you know it, it is in your best interest to actually under promise and then over deliver when it comes to you know creating all these customer expectations and experiences all right so you know if it makes if it takes maybe a week for you to ship the product, tell the customer that you, they will receive their product in two weeks. All right. And then they will be excited if it comes in within a week because then you have under promise, but then you're over delivering. They, in their mind, they're expecting two, but you, you're going to make it right in one week. Okay. So if a product is going to last them for 10 years, guys, all right, you want to claim maybe, you know, eight years and then when they do get to 10 you're the first person they're gonna think of I mean 10 years is a long time for um, you know for what we do sell but you know what I mean so you don't want to consistently be breaking your promises because people may not tell you but they'll write about it somewhere else and you're not gonna be there to cover that okay naturally whoever is watching this and whoever will watch this is too small too small to to even get a negative review all right you want to make sure you're going all out with your customer service and that's where trust actually comes in because these people want to feel like they're being heard these people want to feel like they're being taken care of and these people really really want to get personal with the person they're paying money to all right so that goes on to where i now say that you gotta make your brand more personal okay it also helps really guys to make your brand a lot more personal in your marketing and your advertising you know some people want to hide behind an avatar or hide behind a brand or use a pseudo name it's cool if you're a good writer if you're a good you know a producer of content it's all right but if your money depends on you showing up you got to tell people your real name. You got to tell people exactly what's happening because then they will sympathize with you a lot more than if you lie to them. Because when people figure out that you're not telling the truth, guys, you, you can't undo that damage. All right. So, you know, in all your regular interactions in groups, wherever you ju you just want to maintain that consistent flow of trust and making sure that people can actually rely on your work and actually be there when you when you say something and they pick up on it all right so don't use sometimes you know people can tell when you're using a script so or when you tell when you're being rigid or some sort of formula that doesn't really you're not speaking from the heart you're not being authentic people can tell that stuff you know what i mean so instead you want to encourage the people that you're working with or if you've got employees or yourself when you're doing all those sales calls just speak from the heart guys all right speak from the heart because people can hear it when you're speaking to them all right don't speak about them or try and manipulate them or trick them into anything else just engage customers like real people 
Because they're people that have families, they've got goals, they have dreams, aspirations, they've got blood going through their veins. You want to make sure that you give them that utmost respect that they deserve. Because you know why? These people are going to afford you the lifestyle that you crave. That freedom, that fortune, that money, those houses, those everything else, that's where it all comes from. But you won't get it if you're not genuine. You won't get it if you don't engage people. You won't get it, period. All right? So you want to make sure that you're engaging customers like real people and you're not trying to scam anyone. All right? I guarantee you, if there's anything, this small change will make your brand seem more human than corporate. And it will drastically change your customers' impressions on you for the better. The reason is, once you start acting corporate, you are now treated the same way as IBM. You're now treated the same way as, you know, um, uh, Delight and Touche, Ernest and Young. Can you compete with those companies? You can't. All right. So you want to just be you. Show who you are. And people actually dig that shit. All right. And communicate a whole lot more, you know, just let people know what your vision is. Let them know that you're there to help, you're not there to manipulate anyone and just be available when they need you. You know why? Because they're paying you money. They want to make sure that that money is not being used to go and buy bombs in Bunjumbura or something like that. All right? So you want, building trust is not going to come quick, guys. And it won't always be a straightforward way, you know, but... You should realize that people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. Go out there and build trust with people. If you've got any questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll be um, answering every single one of them. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you up tomorrow, same time, and Godspeed, guys. Go and build trust. People do business with those they know, like, and trust. Get them to trust you.